So hello again and this time in this video we are on the island of Lunga which is uh, about one hour by boat off the coast of Mull. Um, so we are quite remote, this is an uninhabited island, I believe it was inhabited um, hundreds of years ago by a small settlement but that's long gone and there are some ruins over the other side of the island but we are, we are here and uh, we are alone, we, we are waiting um, we've got a few hours, we, we're here for the day um, we've got a few hours before the boat comes back to pick us up um, just a, a local uh, company that uh, will send a rib for us the purpose of, uh, of our visit here to Lunga is to take photographs of seabirds and uh, there are a number of seabirds on this on this island uh, there's a massive population of guillemots and razorbills and puffins and shags and they, and they all live on this cliff on this cliff top it is it is a truly amazing place and the weather today is absolutely gorgeous i mean it is extremely hot it's 26 27 degrees um there is no wind at all it's a very still day uh there's there's, there's some of us that that you, you kind of think well we, we should really be sat on the beach with a beer at this point but uh instead we are uh we're out here with our camera gear and lugging this camera gear up a up the upper cliff edge over there was uh was very hard work but uh, we're here and it's absolutely worth it behind me um we have a a small number of puffins and they are uh, they're doing their thing behind me just uh, enjoying the sunshine and bringing food in for the for the chicks which are in the burrows um, let's have a look at some of the pictures that we've uh, that we've taken today so far of, uh, of some of the puffins and some of the guillemots and, and some of the other birds on the island Taking pictures of, of wildlife is very different to the landscape, obviously, and uh, you know a lot of the videos that I've done have, have been landscape orientated with with lenses in, in in the kind of 15 to 30 or the 24 70 range, so really at the wide end of the scale. When you're shooting wildlife, you you are at the other end of the scale. Um, you know, today I've mostly been using uh, a Sigma 150 to 600 lens. I'm currently borrowing um, a a 500 millimeter lens f4 point sorry, f4 from uh, for a photographer just have a go with it and it, it is a truly amazing lens but you, you're at the other end of the scale you're shooting long um, and, that, and that in itself gives you some some real challenges but this this lens particularly is it's too heavy to hand hold you've got to be Arnold Schwarzenegger to hold this lens um, I can't do it so that's why it's on a, a fairly robust uh, tripod and many other photographers that use these lenses will will use um, use them on tripods such as this. Um, the Sigma that I've been using, the, the 150 to 600, um, you'll be seeing me carrying that a little bit earlier. I, I can hold hand that just. Some people can't. Um, I can just about hold it and manage it. Um, once again, it is a heavy lens, and a lot of people like to put them on uh, on tripods just to to stabilise them. And I do as well. You know, to be fair, it, it is a lot easier just to keep it on a on a loose tripod just so that you take the weight of the uh, of the lens. These puffins behind us seem to have been a nice time. So coming, coming through to camera settings, uh, once again I'm using a Nikon D850, and uh, and the and the settings on this, you know, landscape is very much a personal choice. People do very different things for, for for their own personal reasons. Personally, I like to shoot relatively wide, so this is set to f4, which is the the widest this this, uh, this lens will go, and I'm shooting at 1,600 or 2,000th of a second. Um, ISO is, is left floating, so it, it, I kind of get that automatic exposure created by the ISO. The, the, the benefits of, uh, of a 500mm lens like this are just the, the sharpness that you get. It is heavy, um, and, the, and you don't get a zoom with it, so you know, if you want to zoom in and out, you have to go backwards and forwards, you have to move, move yourself. Um, and I've struggled with that a little bit. The minimum focusing distance on this is 5 metres, for example, so you've got to be 5 metres from the, from the birds. Not easy to do. But uh, yeah, there's one preening behind us. Let's just let's just take that picture and uh, and see what that's doing. There we go, a nice little preen. There we go, cool. So here's some more pictures of the puffins we've been taking today. I do hope you enjoyed those images. Um, if you have enjoyed this video um, on the island of Lunga, 
then uh, please do uh, give us a thumbs up for the, and uh, leave a message down below to say uh, how you liked it and what else you'd like to see us do in the future. Also, while you're at it, bottom right hand of your screen, that button down there, give it a click and uh, subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate that and you'll be notified of any uh, future videos that we, that we publish. Until then, thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.